Hello, and welcome to Case Space School. I'm thrilled to introduce you to what is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see inside NASA as part of the most innovative and stimulating learning experience currently being offered to secondary school students. I represent CASE, which stands for the California Association for STEAM Education and is a nonprofit organization working on STEAM study programs globally. Tura strives to empower young people to be prepared for the fast changing world they will enter. Together, CASE and Actura have been delivering international study programs since 2015 to over 5,000 students across 500 schools worldwide. During this video, we will go through the program benefits, activities, learning outcomes, and discuss the personal leadership and development components. The following video outlines the exceptional duty of care provided to CASE Space School participants. Logistical information can be found on this website, and of course, please don't hesitate to contact us for further information. Science, technology, engineering, arts, mathematics. STEAM learning integrates these five disciplines, but why are STEAM skills so important? Research shows that 75% of the fastest growing occupations will require STEAM knowledge. Space science is the perfect platform for students to develop these critical skills. NASA, as well as the Australian, European, and all international space agencies are refocusing their efforts on new space exploration and the space industry is set to boom. This is creating job growth not only in space, but in many new and emerging industries such as robotics, automation, space life sciences, human health, and remote medicine. Case Space School is approved by the University of California as a five-point GPA college preparatory course. Students can elect to receive an academic transcript, giving them a distinct advantage when applying to universities and jobs. The framework for Case Space School is divided into three pillars. The first pillar shows what science and technology can achieve in the 21st century. The second pillar provides inspiration from people who are at the forefront of innovation. The third pillar gives students the personal skills needed to bring together the leadership and knowledge from the first two pillars. The seven survival skills, a philosophy developed by former Harvard professor, Dr. Tony Wagner, are the foundation of the program. Students develop transportable skills that will be necessary to move through the estimated four different careers and 17 jobs people will have in their lifetime. Students spend 12 days on the ground in the United States, and every day at Case Space School is fast-paced and exciting. Our first stop is the United States Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Students will be immersed in the exciting world of space travel with realistic astronaut training. They will experience the disorientation of re-entry into Earth's atmosphere inside the multi-axis trainer the sensation of walking on the moon in the 1-6 gravity chair, and the simulated frictionless propulsion of the manned maneuvering unit. These are all real devices used to train astronauts. They'll also design, build, and launch their own two-stage rocket and undertake a leadership reaction course. Combining problem solving and challenging obstacle courses, these activities train students in the skills they will need to participate in their own simulated space missions, taking on roles such as mission control, flight crew or lab technician, Students will work as a team, confronting scenarios that require dynamic problem solving. Our next stop is Houston, Texas, where students will visit Johnson Space Center. This is the lead facility for NASA's human spaceflight activity, where spaceflight training, research, and flight control are conducted. During their tour through the complex, students will see the past, present, and future of space travel technology. Saturn V, the first rocket to carry a man to the moon in 1969. Apollo Mission Control, the facility used to monitor that same historic Apollo 11 mission to the moon. The current Orion Mission Control, with live communications to the International Space Station. Robonaut and Valkyrie, state-of-the-art humanoid robots that are at the height of technological advancement. The Orion, Boeing and SpaceX space capsules the safest and most advanced spacecraft ever built, designed to take humans further than ever before, and a fully autonomous habitation unit that contains everything required to sustain human life on other planets. These are just some of the amazing technologies that students will see at Johnson Space Center. NASA's focus right now is to push the boundaries of human exploration, 
going back to the Moon and then on to Mars. Currently, NASA is working to establish a permanent human presence on the Moon within the next decade. With the last moonwalk having taken place in 1972, the first step for NASA is the Artemis program, which will land the first woman and next man on the Moon by 2024. New technologies will be required to keep astronauts safe on the lunar surface, and many private companies are now working with NASA to research and develop these protection systems. During their time in Houston, students will learn about several Earth sciences and discover how they apply to human space travel. Being introduced to human protection systems in space, they will visit one of the most extraordinary hands-on medical exhibits in the world, perform cellular analysis in professional lab, and undertake a range of hands-on biology experiments such as DNA extraction. Using this knowledge, students will then design and test their own space club, engineered to protect the human body in space. They'll have to consider resistance to heat, punctures, and other threats while still maintaining dexterity for the astronaut. Energy is one of the most important resources, and students will explore the process of energy development at Weiss Energy Hall. From how oil and natural gas are formed to the future of energy production, such as fusion power and green energy sources. They will investigate renewable energy, particularly from the perspective of space survival, designing their own generator for use on the Moon or Mars, which will be an essential consideration for NASA when planning to build a lunar or Martian base. This program is a once-in-a-lifetime experience and wouldn't be complete without being able to appreciate the local culture. Students will have the opportunity to tour the beautiful Rice University campus, where JFK made his famous Man on the Moon speech in 1962. Students will also get the chance to do some shopping at the mall, eat the local cuisine, and experience an All-American baseball or basketball game. At Case Space School, students will gain access to an array of motivating people from inside NASA and their partner organizations. These are the people who are at the forefront of the space and technology industries right now. Students will hear from an astronaut, scientists, or engineers in engaging presentations. They will gain insight into the guest speaker's journeys, their views on success and how to achieve it. They'll also have the opportunity to ask questions and meet these inspiring individuals. Industry leaders tell us that personal skills are what make people stand out. Integrated into the daily space school schedule is the Empower module. The Empower module is based around the seven habits of highly effective teens. Leaders around the world have long used these inspirational standards, and they are valuable for those who seek to live a full and purposeful life. Students will learn and practice them in some fun and interactive activities throughout the program. So, who's ready to launch? In summary, Case Space School offers a great STEAM experience, inspiration from the best minds, personal skills to bring everything together, but most of all, it's a lot of fun. To register your interest, please click the Expression of Interest button. If you would like to know more about our outstanding duty of care model, please watch the How to Get to NASA video below. To contact us, please find our contact details at the bottom of the page.